What's up, y'all? I'm Reed the Fishmonger, and today we're gonna fillet up an Alfonsino. This is a beautiful deep water fish that we caught right out here. A local commercial fisherman brought this in. He caught it in over a thousand feet of water. These fish eat cephalopods and crustaceans and other fish, giving them a clean white meat. Let's get it cut up for you. Alfonsino have these crazy scales that are like sharp sandpaper. If you put your fingers on it and you run against the grain on those scales, it will tear up your fingers. That's crazy. That's just from barely going against the grain just to show you an example. And their skin is like armor. It's just totally tough, totally unique to this fish. All right, so we're gonna pick up the fin and we're going to puncture right underneath those scales, right underneath that pectoral fin and cut right underneath that pelvic fin. Now we're gonna flip our knife around and go behind the head. Alfonsino have a lot of meat that come behind the head. So we wanna go at a really hard angle to get that. We're gonna flip our knife around and run our knife right along the dorsal fin. And I don't know if the camera can pick up the micro serrated edges on these scales, but it's insane. They're like little teeth. You guys will be able to see this when you watch the long form of this video. Totally crazy. Now we're gonna rest our knife right on top of the skeleton and pull towards the head, making sure that our knife is resting on top of the skeleton, not losing any of that delicious meat. This fish has clean white meat. It's even used for sushi. Alfonsino do have a below average fat content of up to 3%, which is lower than Queen Snapper, which a lot of people will say this is similar to Queen Snapper, it does have a lower fat content. Now that we broke the separation the pin bones make to the ribs, we want to rest our knife right on top of those rib bones, letting those rib bones guide our knife. Boom. Look how beautiful that meat looks. It does have that black membrane on the belly, just like a black belly rosefish but it's absolutely gorgeous meat. When I cook Alfonsino in the saute pan, I take the skin off. When I'm skinning my fish, I like to leave the scales on just so that way I'm not scaling my fish just to remove the skin anyways and just have an extra wasted step. So there is meat inside of these collarbones. I'm gonna show you guys how to remove that in a minute here. First, we're gonna remove the second side of our Alfonsino. For those of you that don't know this species, this is a very big Alfonsino. This is a huge one. It is such a treat to get to work with such a gorgeous fish. All right, we've got all that meat behind the head that we don't want to lose out on. Trying to cut through the scales can prove challenging because they are like armor. Roll her over, and we're gonna start all the way up in that forehead. Make sure we don't lose any of that meat. To peel the skin, if you wanted to do that, what you first want to do is outline your fish. So we just outline that side. Now we're gonna outline this side. Get a good grip on that skin and just pull. You guys, look how crazy this fish looks with the skin peeled off. It looks just totally wild. Something out of a movie. Super interesting. All right, we wanna get right on top of that skeleton and let the skeleton guide our knife, making sure we don't lose any of that delicious, delicious Alfonsino meat. Go right up the top behind the head there. We got this whole finger behind the head. Delicious, delicious cut of fish. Similar to African pompano and mahi-mahi, having that finger behind the head. Now we're gonna twist them over. That way we can ride on top of those ribs. Twist them one more time. Boom. Gorgeous filet there. Shave off that little bit of membrane rib bone right there. When it comes to the pin bones on these Alfonsino, they don't go that far back. 
just want to make a nice V on both sides. Pick up the V and cut it off. And there we go. That is an absolutely gorgeous filet. When you peel the skin, you are left with some of this membrane. If you're frying your fish, it won't make a big difference. But if you're doing something more gentle, like a, a poach or a shallow butter saute, then you might notice a slight textual difference on a fish that had skin peeled versus skin that was cut off with a knife. I'll show you what I mean with this filet. Get our knife right under there, run it flat. So that way, all that membrane and sinew is being left on the skin. See those hard white lines? Those are gonna have a chewier texture. That is called sinew. And it is not in our filet that was skinned with a knife. And you can tell right here that the one that was skinned with a knife has a much prettier presentation. And there are some people that will say there is no difference between peeling a skin and cutting a skin off with a knife, but it, it's, it's objective, not subjective. There is less sinew in this filet than there is in this one. Now, whether that's gonna affect your culinary experience or not, that's objective. But what is not subjective is that there is less in you in this one. It's just a fact. Got these nice fat collars on this Alfie here. And there is not a lot of cheek meat. This is a very bony head. A large portion of the meat that's in the head is gonna be on those hard cuts we do behind the head, making these fingers. But there is collar meat. How we're gonna remove that is make a puncture underneath that membrane, come around follow it on the other way. Now, on the collars of your fish, there are two bones that rest on top of each other like that. The top one is almost always resting on top of the bottom one. So here is the top, here is the bottom, and right here is where it's resting on top of each other. So all we wanna do is slide our knife right underneath. And there we go, there's our beautiful collar got this black membrane on it, just like a black belly rosefish. It does peel off. All right, let's flip it over. What you wanna do is lift up all of the gills, so that way this membrane right here is exposed. Puncture that membrane, slide all the way under there, and this bone right here can be hard to cut through. You can work your way around it. It will dull up your knife a little bit. Alternatively, you could just take some kitchen shears, and cut right through that bone. And then once again, we're gonna slide our knife right underneath that floating bone. Then this whole thing is released. All you have to do is separate that little bit of membrane that's still attached to it. And there you go, collar number two. The skeletons on these delicious white meat fish are phenomenal for soups, stocks. Even though there's not a lot of cheek meat or meat left in the head of this fish, you'll still get some if you boil it down or simmer it down. And if you don't wanna scrape the meat off when you're done, save that liquid, make a stock out of it. And if you don't do any of those things, this head goes into a crab trap, goes back into the circle of life. We're super passionate about using every drop of these fish. But since we're here anyways, even though there's not really much cheap meat in these Alfonsino, this is an extra large one, so let's Check it out anyways. You can feel the meat, it's where those scales are, and you can feel the outline of the bone with your finger. We're gonna puncture our knife right where that scale is. Outline, usually scoop right underneath that lip like that. These fish do have cheeks, but we're definitely not gonna be making a meal out of them. Look at that. That is a pretty little medallion. I tell you what, let's uh, pull the other one out. Well, clearly I did a little bit better getting more meat on the first one than the second one, but there's our Alfonsino cheek meat. You guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode. Hope you all have a killer day.